just call viewers a positive image. I don't think women always have to be arguing and fighting. And I felt like the show was going in that direction. And so it took... 20 steps back this season. Mm. All right, so you get back on the show. Now, you and Tammy had been cool with each other before this new season started, but then you guys started having some fallings out, and she said that you were a liar. So how yes. did all that happen? Well, Tammy and I, first of all, when I left Basketball Wives uh, season four, I did not speak to those girls until I had seen Tammy and Shawnee at an event that Malaysia was doing that they were actually filming, probably like two and a half years ago now. Um, so Tammy and I ended up like getting cool, just kind of, you know, like talking, catching up. Tammy was revealing to me a lot of things that Evelyn allegedly was doing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, it's like been so long. Like, why is this still happening? And Tammy and Evelyn still weren't getting along at this point. And Tammy and Evelyn were not getting along. They never really have since. It no, it's always kind of been this, I don't know what, this very weird energy between mm -hmm. those two where... They make up and then they fight again. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Tammy felt a way because I let the whole shit with Evelyn go. And I think she was upset about that mm -hmm. because that was not the plan. Okay. So you think there was a plan in place well, for when, when you came back to basketball wise? Well, when I first came back, you know, because Tammy was telling me all this shit, she was like, listen, you know, we need to take her down. And at the time, I Talking was down. Talking about Evelyn. Yes. At the time, I was down with it because of all the things that I was hearing that she allegedly was doing. Like what? I thought Evelyn was your friend, though. No, at this time, we this weren't speaking. Years, they hadn't spoken in five years. years, she said. Right. So what What kind of things was she was um, saying okay, that so Evelyn was saying about you? Allegedly, so when I uh, got hit on Basketball Wives, she was saying that Evelyn has set that up, which... Whatever. I, I was kind of over that. But honestly, the one thing that I was really upset about was a situation where she allegedly was trying to sell a story to the blogs with me and another celebrity. Ooh, that I, I don't want to say. Like a date but, only, but literally Ooh. only like four people knew. So I knew she couldn't have been lying. Oh, you knew it was her because it was. A, nobody well, the, knew you the, was dating the and guy. the problem is. That Tammy had hooked up with Evelyn's old manager and was she was getting a lot of information from her. So there's a lot of messiness going on this behind the scenes. Yes. I, I thought it was it's something about lot. you talking about Evelyn's daughter we're, or something. We're going to get to that next. Yeah. Right? So it's a progression. Right. So then even before that happened, I guess you guys all were talking and they were saying that you had said some really negative things about Evelyn. And that got brought up. Now, let's discuss that because you said that you and Evelyn had discussed the fact that you guys both said negative things about each other. So what were some of those things that you can say, yes, I did say that? To be honest, I can't remember everything that was said because we're talking about something that was like five years ago. OK, right. and when women fall out, yeah, they talk. Shit. One of the things that did come up was there was a rumor going around. And I heard this from years ago that. Evelyn had slept with Shawnee's ex. Shaq. With Shaq. Yes. Shaquille O'Neal. Mm -hmm. And so Tammy and I had this conversation. Hold on, that's why Shaq would never come up here, by the way. He's, he's, he's Shaq, that's the reason why Shaq It's important to name names in situations like that, Absolutely. though. That could have been Ocho Cinco. That could have been the baseball Absolutely. player. You know what I mean? It got to be, yeah, so we're yeah, not confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Shaq. Yes. Allegedly. So Tammy and I did have this conversation. Mm -hmm. Now, do I know it to be true? No. Like, I don't know, but you I think it was a rumor. Right. But here's the problem. I felt like on the show, they act like I started this rumor. And I'm like, first of all, no, I did not start the rumor. I heard this years ago. Somebody asked me. So when Tammy circled back, was telling me all these things, it was kind of like, oh, did you hear this? Did you hear that? And that's how the whole conversation Why came Why are you talking about 20-year-old rumors, though? They're just gossiping. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. People bring up old stuff all the time. Right. And so basically, we talked about that a whole year ago. So Tammy decided to bring this back up mm -hmm. during the season mm -hmm. and then you know and that turned everything... into a really big deal because it seemed like shawnee had never heard this rumor before it was her first time well, hearing it do you right. believe that was say? authentic what did evelyn say how did how did she respond to the rumor i mean she was like you know it's not true okay mm -hmm. um so, so you this know it wasn't like evelyn shared with you you know i said with Shaq. it was just a rumor no, you heard no it was, it, was a rumor, it was just a rumor it was just a rumor i heard and that was it i had a conversation about it there was no facts, no receipts. We let it go. Mm -hmm. And so Tammy decided to bring it up. But you know what? I had a scene with Tammy in the beginning of the season, and she made a comment which didn't play. And now that I look back on it, I see where she was going with it because she was like, oh, I saw you went to Evelyn's birthday. And I was like, yeah, you know, I did, whatever. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, so did you guys talk about everything that you said about one another? And I kind of was like, 
Mm, no, we just decided to let it go. So I felt like she has something brewing now that I think back on it. And she really had an issue with that. You don't think y'all all too old for this? this, is, this is... I do. Oh, okay. I do. And this is exactly why I didn't go to the reunion. Mm -hmm. All right, we have more with Basketball Wives. So Jennifer Williams, when we come back, don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Come on. V. Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Basketball Wives. So Jennifer Williams is in the building. Yee. So now what about this latest thing that happened on the episode where Malaysia says that you were talking negatively about Evelyn's daughter and basically they bleeped out a lot of what was said. So I don't even know exactly what it was that they said that you said about her daughter, but basically that she was paying all the bills in the household while Evelyn was running around. And I guess it probably was something sexual that you were saying about her daughter. And that Evelyn she got a baby daddy by a multimillionaire. That baseball player made some money, though. I don't think I don't, she ever be But this was at a time when Evelyn supposedly had a roommate. And said she said it on the show. Um, she had a roommate, and the roommate is the one that was saying this. So this was not the time that like, she was with the... With right. Would so, you like some more rum before you answer this question? No, no. no. It's her birthday. <laughs> She's having a little rum. They said that Leslie would call the daughter a, a hoe or something like that. And that was <gasps> lack of parenting. First of all, I mean, this was the first time that I was hearing this, okay? Mm -hmm. When I left that show... When I left the reunion, I did not talk to those girls, okay? So Shawnee was trying to say, oh, Jennifer said this, I don't know, what, five years ago or whenever we weren't speaking. One, I would never say that about her daughter so because... So Shawnee said you said that? Yes. And this is her, um, Evelyn's daughter, Shawnee, who you've known since she was six. I've known her since she was six. I've never even seen Shawnee's with a credit card, to be honest with you. So, one, that's something that I would never say. And my thing is this, Shawnee, first of all, she starts a lot of bullshit behind the scenes. Shawnee O'Neal? But, yes. Okay, you're not coming um, back to the show, clearly. Whatever. I mean, I'm just, like, I came up here to keep it real. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is, if I allegedly said this five years ago, uh -huh. and this is your girl, why, one, are you just now bringing it up? Two, why were you advocating for us to sit down and have a conversation last season? But now this season is something totally different. Mm. So you're saying Shawnee made that up? So she lied. It didn't come from me. Did Basketball Wise drop in ratings or something? Because it seemed like it was a little bit more ratchet this season. Like, they're trying to get that controversy I, to bring To be up. honest with you, I don't know the answer to that. But I do know that the ratings have been through the roof this season. Yeah. Which I, means that's an extra check for Shawnee O'Neal. So to clear it up, you did not say anything negative about Evelyn's daughter at no, all? No. Did not, not at all. Home, did not say lack of parenting, nothing. None of that. Show me the receipts pulled later, right? No. Okay. So, so Shawnee O'Neal and Malaysia, you're you saying, are telling fibs on lying about, about that? I feel like I was set up. Okay. Yes. So Evelyn sorry. and Shawnee, some lying-ass women is what you're saying. Listen, I don't know if somebody might have told them I said that, mm -hmm. but they did not hear that from me. Are so you just realizing Shawnee and Evelyn be lying? It just dawned on you? Um, I, I wouldn't say Evelyn because she was kind of like an innocent bystander mm -hmm. in it. But what I'm saying is that Shawnee starts a lot of things behind the scenes. It's good for our show. Well, on the reunion, they did ask Shawnee about some things that Tammy might have said. And I don't know. Did you watch the reunion since you weren't I, there? I did. I watched mm -hmm. some of it. What did you think of it? You know, here's the thing. It's really interesting that um, Shawnee has selective memory because she couldn't seem to remember if uh, Tammy had said those things, which had happened, I don't know. Some uh, things about Evelyn. Or some things about Evelyn, some things that uh, Tammy, I guess, had told Evelyn and Shawnee. Mm -hmm. And Shawnee was like, I don't know, because she never wants to be in the middle of everything. Well, you said earlier you couldn't remember some things from some years ago, do though. But I'm not saying I remember exactly what I said, mm -hmm. but there are certain conversations that you're going to remember specific things. Gotcha. So you mm -hmm. did talk about Evelyn's daughter. No, I'm not saying about her daughter. I'm saying when Evelyn and I fell out, we probably talked about each other. I don't remember exactly what I said. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah, when you fall out, when you fall out with no somebody, so yeah. With the girls. That's so that, now that conversation, <laughs> I know you guys didn't watch the reunion in here, but the conversation between Tammy and Evelyn got a little brutal. I did feel they were going at each other. They talking about reproductive situations and miscarriages. Wow. And rotten, like all kinds of things. No, it was it was pretty bad. What did you think when you saw that? Wait, ye, we, we missed Amsterdam. I'm waiting for Amsterdam. Like, what's hap what happened in Amsterdam, ye? Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is basically what happened is that they said that um, Jennifer spoke about Evelyn's daughter. And, and, and that happened in Amsterdam. You? Malaysia threw the table. She Malaysia threw a table. She threw a table at you. Why? I mean, we were like arguing and I don't know. This sh came out of nowhere. And I'm thinking to myself, um, this bitch looks like a linebacker. And I'm trying to figure out, yeah. like, am I going to have to fight this big bitch? Like, this is crazy. She's young, though, right? 
She's not that young. I guess you're in her late 20s? No, she's in her 30s. And you know, the interesting thing to me is that Malaysia is, she basically is on camera having a conversation with her son about police brutality and trying to teach her son about, you know, what goes on in the community. She had Norman on the show, too. Yes. And so here it is, like, you're trying to show your son certain things. And yet, and still, you go and you throw a table. Well, sometimes you got to show your children on site. And what the hell <laughs> on site me? You know what I'm saying? People out here running their mouth. I might have to press them. You know, last, last time we were up here, we told you you better learn karate. Like, you, you better learn how to protect yourself a little better. You getting I'm not. I know. I know. I'm good, though. All right. Trust me. I, I thought you had got good with a blade, because didn't you slap somebody tires earlier this that year? That was bullshit. That wasn't true? No. Your, your, little, your ex boo boo? No. I went, tires? listen, I don't even know how to <laughs> put <laughs> air in my tire. For a man. TMZ. Okay. okay. <laughs> Are there things that you regret that happened this season, as far as you're concerned, or that happened in general that got brought up this season? I like to say that I don't live with regrets because I just try and learn a lesson from whatever it is. I wish I wouldn't have had certain conversations with Tammy because I feel like she definitely had bad intentions. But everything is so petty and dumb. And I just feel like I've been through so much in my life the past three years that I can't really focus on that. Mm. Right. Jennifer's mother did pass away. Um, Sorry to hear that. Sorry yeah, that hear was that. really sad. And you also did go through a really bad public breakup and ended up having to go to court and everything. Was that James, with James Tim Norman? Yes. The guy who tired was, they say you slashed? Yes, I was in court for six months dealing with that. And, um, you he was know, abusive, right? I would say he's never put his hands on me, but I know that he has done that to other women. Mm. And, you know, when we were in court, he ended up saying his tires were never slashed. It went from his tires being not slashed to puncture to just being flat and that he used fix a flat to fix his tires. Why were y'all in court if y'all not married or y'all weren't married? Restraining, uh, restraining order. order. Restraining order. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so now... You don't what strike it, me as that type, though, the slash tires. No. Nah. Yeah, I can't see that either. You don't smell the confrontational type to me. No, I'm not. But that's very non-confrontational. When no one's around, you slash their tires. And no, you know, and the crazy part <laughs> is that like this man me. moved across the Have street from me, that. and really? I had no idea. What? Yes. With a girl, he had a new girlfriend, right? Yes. Wow. And that's allegedly where I slashed the tires. I mean, literally. So I, I mean, it's crazy. Did you get the order because he was right across the street from you? No, I actually got the restraining order because he was going around saying all this, like, crazy shit. So it was, it was kind of like... Okay, he gets a restraining order against me because of the tire situation. So it, it was like, okay, now I have to play defense. And I was like, this dude is really crazy. So he, wow. told, so he was stalking you, you believe? Absolutely. So Evelyn was leaking these stories to the blogs? No. Oh. All right, we have more with Basketball Wives. So Jennifer Williams, when we come back, don't be Angela Yee. Charlamagne the guy. we are the Breakfast Club. Basketball Wives, so Jennifer Williams is in the building. Yee. Can you and Evelyn, can your relationship be repaired? Because that's the most longstanding one that you've had. You guys have been friends for how long? I think we met in 2000. All right, so you guys have been friends for 18 years. Is this a situation where you Well, want... we, didn't, we didn't speak for five years. So. Okay. Off and on. Right. But, right. I mean, she was in your wedding. Yes. And, you know, Along you with guys you. Were, yeah, I was there, too. <laughs> I was in the wedding also. So is there any way you feel like that can be repaired, and would you want that? I don't want drama with anybody. I feel like this show has ripped our friendship apart more than once. And I don't know if it ever could get back to what it was. But my hope is, like, one day we can, you know, definitely be cordial. What is cordial? Not throwing tables at each other? Well, she didn't throw a table at me. Um, I think I think we both really love each other, and there's a lot of things that have transpired. But I really feel like the girls on the show are very jealous of our friendship. Mm-hmm. Why, though? Why can't two women be friends? I don't know. What about Kristen? Kristen and you, uh, she was kind of the last one standing that had a, had a conversation with you. Where do you guys stand now? I think Kristen is actually, like, a really cool girl, and I felt like she was a good fit for Basketball Wives. But yeah, I don't have any issues with her, and we're still very cool. And I text her mom, and her mom calls me, and so we have a good relationship. What about Shanice? Because that is Evelyn's daughter. Did she have any reaction to all of this? Obviously, she's an adult now, so... I know. You know, I just feel awful that they kind of keep throwing her daughter in it. And, you know, anyone that knows Evelyn knows that's kind of... That's a trigger, Mm -hmm. you know? And I feel like that's what Shawnee was going for, because I, I felt like I don't know if... She was upset over the whole, like, shack rumor, but I felt like she was determined to bring me down. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so I haven't, I don't know what Shawnice's reaction has been. I just feel bad that she has been an innocent bystander the past two seasons and has got thrown in something that she has nothing to do with this show. If they ask you to come back for the next season. Oh, God. Keep in mind, you already called Malaysia a linebacker. <laughs> so she's going to want that fade. And we'll you come call back Shawnee a liar. Here's I mean, listen, thing. let's be clear. Malaysia and Shawnee had a period of time where they didn't get along at all, and Malaysia's it, back on the show. Is, yes. There's always been issues between people, but somehow it's still... Every season, I feel like somebody has to take the fall. You know? It's like they gang up on somebody every season. It was my turn. I honestly would like to move forward in my life. I still am under contract, so I don't know what's going to happen. I do know that allegedly the production company got fired. Hmm. And uh, so I don't know what's going to happen with the show, but I just want to move forward. Have you spoke to Malaysia? I no. I apologized for throwing the table at you. Did she? I saw that on Bossip. Well, she didn't apologize to me directly. I think she apologized for throwing a table at all, period. Oh, but Different. not directly at your head. Not, <laughs> not at your head, though. I guess. Yeah. I, I didn't I didn't hear about it, but um no I have not spoken to her. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, thank you for coming through and happy birthday. You know, thank sorry you. that we had to talk about it. Thank all you guys. This thank you drama. for letting me have my reunion here. You know what? Because I wanted to come here mm -hmm. and I knew that I could tell my true story and it would not be edited. So thank you guys for that. Have platform. you gotten everything out? Is everything fine? Who's that guy that you were with? That's the new boo with the um <laughs> You had a picture and, and you had his arm in it, and I'm like, who is this guy? Oh, that's right, yeah, it's your birthday. Who, who, who you with tonight? What boo um, you with tonight? So She's about to catch a flight. I see her bags out there. Okay. I am about to catch a flight, who so going? I'm going to Atlanta. Uh -oh. oh, your boo's in Atlanta? Ooh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Y'all flying somewhere exotic after that? No, she might just be going to see her boo. No, I'm what? just going to see him. What does I'm... he do? <laughs> yeah, <maybe> he's... <laughs> just curious. Uh, he does real estate. Oh, you got you somebody just He is not normal. in the business. There you go. Yeah, he's not in the business. He's doing good? Yeah, he's a boss. Okay. Okay. That's what right. you need. Somebody want to see you. You in the Chanel store, so I just want to make sure, you know. <laughs> he is he's definitely a boss. He's a he's a really good guy. It's very new, so we'll black see. Black or white? He's black. Does okay. he watch basketball wives? No, he does not. <laughs> did he know who you were? He did not know who I was. So and he, he is not a fan of reality shows and he's like, you know, is I he under you. fifty? He is. <laughs> so he don't want you on reality TV, basically, is what you're saying. He does not. So why don't you get off reality TV? I mean, know? that's what... Yeah. I'm, I'm, I told him that's but not my desire. But you got to commit to YouTube first, though. Right. We'll see what happens. Has he been married before? He has. Is his ankles ashy? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing for you for your birthday? Do you know that? I don't... I have no idea. Does he what? have kids? He does. Does his kids like you? I haven't met them yet. Oh, what kid's your yet? age? No. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I said he's under 50. Jeez. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but he keeps a smile on my face, so that's really what's important right now. So we'll see what happens. Have you spoken to Shani at all, though? Like, do you, have you expressed these uh, these frustrations to Shani? Does she know it? Will this be her first time hearing about this on The Breakfast Club? No, I have not. I have not spoke to uh, any of those girls. Except mm. Kristen. Yes, except Kristen. So well, what do you think that was edited out? Are there things that we didn't see that you wish we would have gotten a chance to see? Well, I wish you could see how much bull happens behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like they, they try and make it seem like, oh, Jennifer's messy. Jennifer starts this. And, you know, there's one thing I do want to clarify. The whole rumor about Cece mm -hmm. and her, like, picking up young guys at the gym. Um, Who is Cece? She's on the show as well. You don't she's, want a, she's a new girl. Okay. Just for clarification, because... I don't know if they try to make it seem like I started this rumor. I did make a joke about, well, what was she doing at the spa giving happy endings? But that entire scenario and rumor. <laughs> no, don't that just came slide from... back that. I can't believe you, Jennifer. That's I did make a joke. Of giving hand <laughs> to random I did, men. I did make a joke. Oh, my God. However, this whole rumor started because both Evelyn and I heard that from Shawnee. But because she's an executive producer, her hands are always going to come out clean. Wow. Well, not she that gym. She would, she would <laughs> now that she's giving happy endings. If she was in that gym, it wouldn't have been <laughs> clean, God damn it. Well, thank you, Jennifer. You enjoy your uh, birthday. Thank you. Well, I didn't know Shawnee was this foul. That's why. I mean, I'm not saying she's Shawnee. I don't know if you're foul or not. I'm just Allegedly. saying. Allegedly. The way Jennifer is describing you, I didn't know you were this Let foul. Let me tell you, there are receipts. Angela has seen receipts. Uh-oh. Okay? You have you? So, <laughs> I have some text messages. I just feel like all of y'all too grown for that. Like you too grown. I think to be so too. Up drama between people. But you know what drama sells? Does everybody yes, want to watch a yeah. show where everybody's getting along and being kumbaya? No, clearly not. <laughs> and she on VH1, so she got to compete with Mona Scott. Mona Scott got her show turned up. 
Exactly. Yeah. So she wants to be Mona Scott is what you're saying. I don't I don't know that. But obviously you want good ratings. If you're executive producer, mm -hmm. you want your show to be, you know. Well, what's next for Jennifer? Um, honestly, I really want to get into producing and I want to produce content and things that um, are close to my heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no Ratchet TV, you're saying? No. Ain't nobody watching that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you know that, Jen. I want to do scripted, though. Oh, got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, that's different. Yeah. Well, Hi. enjoy your birthday. Have thank fun. You. Hey, thank I you. Thank you for coming by. Happy birthday. Thank Alrighty. you, guys. It's The Breakfast Club. It's Jennifer Williams.